And now for the Power Series speakers. These top-in speakers are available in 10 different models. We have five round speakers that are available in four inch to 6.75 inch, and then five oval models from a four by six to six by nine with relative power handlings between 40 and 100 watts RMS. Now some of the features that are included, pole mounted, shallow mounting depth, and integrated concealed crossovers, which we've already talked about. Flex fit basket design. Vast surround technique is utilized on the speakers. The ICC or integrated concealed crossovers. OEM adapter plates, available in all but 6x8 and 6x9 models. One inch aluminum dome tweeter with a polyurethane suspension. Carbon fiber and polypropylene injection molded cone. Again, highly strong, lightweight, very durable. Also, they feature a butyl rubber surround. We also have some models that feature a suspended mount tweeter instead of the traditional pole mount. Now, one of the things you look at is, of course, the pole mounted tweeters, very traditional design. The thing with it, though, is, of course, you have a post coming up right through the middle of the cone of the mid-range. When doing this, unfortunately, of course, you lose some of that cone area. By suspending the mount of the tweeter over the cone on a bridge assembly, this allows us to utilize a full cone mid-range. Now, by utilizing the full cone mid-range, we regain the output, we get full frequency response out of the cone, and with the tweeter mounted the way it is, we get the full uh, coupled sound out of the mid-range speakers. Now on to the Power Series T1 and T2 components. In the T1 series, we have four different models. We have a five and a quarter, six, six and a half, and six and three quarter inch. Power handling between 75 and 100 watts RMS. In the T2 series, we have two models, five and a quarter and six and a half. Again, power handling between 75 watts and 100 watts RMS. Some of the features that are common between both the T1 and T2 component sets are flex fit basket design, OEM adapter plates. We utilize an external audio file grade component crossover in the T2 series with 5% or better High, top, high quality poly capacitors and air core inductors. Uh, the crossover also features three levels of tweeter attenuation. Uh, also, we feature an on axis, off axis tweeter configuration. Now, one of the cool things is this is on axis versus off axis. So, what's the difference? On axis is if the tweeter, when it's mounted in the vehicle, is pointing at you directly at your face, that's an on axis listening response. Now, the majority of installation situations, the tweeter is actually going to be in an off axis, meaning it's usually pointing sideways, or it may be in an A pillar pointing toward the windshield. Again, we allow that switch because it changes the characteristics of the tweeter to give you the best overall results. Also, just like in the punch family, we use a recessed tweeter mount using a standard inch and three quarter inch hole saw as well as our DDC, or Dual Discrete Clamp Assembly. Now the cool thing about the DDC assembly is it actually is designed to sandwich the door panel. So you have a cup that goes behind the door panel, a cup that goes from the front, and then you screw the two together, giving you a nice wide mounting flange. This wide mounting flange, again, sandwiches the door material, and you don't have to worry about those spring clips that seat in from behind the door coming out, tearing up the back side of the door. Then the tweeter is simply snapped into the cup with a trim ring that's installed over to retain it. They also feature the standard butyl rubber surround. Now when it comes to the tweeters, the T1 series tweeter is a treated fabric dome tweeter with a neomagnet the T2 is an aluminum dome Neo tweeter with integral suspension. Also, the T2 crossovers feature a bi-amp configuration ability. So if you're doing a high-end system where you want to do either a separate amp channel for the tweeters, uh, where you're actually giving power to the tweeters separate from the mid-range, or if, for example, you're tuning the system through a processor and you want to be able to dedicate channels just for the tweeter as well as channels just for the mid-range, you can switch it into a bi-amp configuration mode. The T2 mid-range cone 
Also features a carbon fiber polypropylene injection molded cone, as well as a billet machined aluminum phase plug in the center of the cone for better phase characteristics.